Assalamu alaikum, welcome to another Google Earth Engine tutorial and in this tutorial we will see that how to perform simple analysis like creating NDVI and adding it on map how can you export it in last tutorial we saw that how to do uh, cloud masking using QA60 band of Sentinel-2 and in previous lectures we saw that how can you filter your required images from any collection and how to add it on map and how can you export it into your drive so let's get started and calculate NDVI from this filtered collection of this time span and add it on map hey, you can see that this function is doing cloud masking and here I am calling a collection of Sentinel-2 level 2 dataset and filtered it over my AOI that is right over here and the time span from this time period to this time period having a cloud percentage of 10% and then do this mask on this collection and then make a mean or median whatever you want and then clip it with my AOI so let's change our AOI I will delete this from over here and then let's pause here uh, water and vegetation and other things are very clear so I will make another rectangle yeah, just like this or this Mirkut city so I will hide this polygon and I will rename it to AOI and let's run this code this code will filtered out image from this time span to this time span on this map and it is also exporting that image into my google drive now let's do ndvi analysis so for ndvi analysis first of all let's store it into a variable ndvi is equal to and call your filtered image it can be any variable in my case i have a variable of collection and in collection variable i have my filtered image and then dot uh, in docs you can search uh, that keyword normalized uh, difference between bands so just click it and copy this name normalize d capital normalize difference and uh, what is the formula for calculating ndvi uh, the formula is NDVI is equal to NIR near infrared band and okay so now how can we apply this formula into this I called a function name as normalized difference then in this function I will choose two bands so first of all I will call my NI NIR band and in sentinel 2 image eighth band is actually NIR band and if I will print all band into this console then I can write print and in console I will have all bands here this eighth band is actually uh, the NIR band so what I will do I will call this band NIR and then the second band that is a red band B4 in Sentinel-2 B4 is the red band and if you want to learn these band details then you can search it Sentinel-2 bands okay right over here you can see that fourth band is uh, a red band and the eighth band is an IR band so here I have select NIR and a red band I can rename this to dot rename to NDVA so this function will change the band name so let me show you a difference between this rename and without rename so now if I will print NDVI in console then it will show that in NDVI there is only one band and its name is ND this is the default name if you will calculate a normalized difference between two bands and if you will rename it like this a normalized difference calculation 
is NDVI. So this band name will change to NDVI and again run this code and here you can see that this band name is now NDVI. Now what we will do, we will make a, a visualization a schema for this NDVI. So first of all, uh, we will save it into a variable like where NDVI vis visualization. So here we will choose color and min max for NDVI. So we know that the min and max value of NDVI can be minus one to plus one. So in min, we can put one minus one and then in max, we can say it to only one and then add and in palette you can choose the colors just like this so now i will add uh, this ndvi on my this map over this uh, composite so for this i will use this keyword map dot add layer and now this time uh, in map dot add layer my image will be ndvi and my visual parameters will be ndvi wish and in my control panel uh, you can rename your layer name like ndvi layer now if i will hit control enter then you can see that first of all it add ndvi on map and then it will also add the composite. So uh, what I can do, I can turn off this composite from over here. And all the negative values are in blue colors. And the higher values are actually representing the vegetation. So those are green. So similarly, you can also do other uh, indices calculation just like you can calculate NDWI control enter so first of all NDVI and then it will add NDWI and then the composite so now if you want to uh, export your NDVI then what you can do you can replace your image with that name where your NDVI is stored and then you can also change the description NDVI and other thing will remain same at you can change the spatial resolution of uh, exported NDVI raster data set and then hit uh, run in task, you can see that I have an image that I can export. Just run this and run this. So once it will be done, you will see a tick mark in front of that image. And then you will navigate toward your drive. And in your drive, you can download that raster data set and drag your raster into your arc map. So here, this is the NDVI that you have recently exported from Google Earth Engine. The lower values are actually representing the water body that is in dark and the high bright are actually dense or healthy vegetation. So with this method, you can do any type of normalized difference analysis. You can calculate indices in just this one function and now in your practice you can calculate ndvi of your region and ndbi normalized difference build up index see you next tutorial many thanks take care allah